Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Wanchit Productions. Today we are going to learn about a face logo. So let's just start our work without wasting your time. Go to file, new, we will create a new document and the name of the document will be logo. So the size of the document is 920 by 180 pixels and the background contents are white. Resolution I have just increased for 2150. So hit OK. Now we'll just unlock this layer by clicking on this lock and we'll go to effects and gradient overlay settings for gradient overlays are blending mode are normal opacity is 100% gradient color is grayish which is uh, 383838 and the white is ffff and now the style is radial and angle is 126 degree scale is 150% and hit ok now we'll place our image which we will use for logo and let's just select image click check mark to accept the settings right click and rasterize this layer now go to image adjustments and threshold for now the threshold will be different for different images try to catch more details to get more accurate result for this i will just select 180 and hit ok we will select our eraser tool by pressing e and select magic eraser tool and erase this white color white from this this and this sides too Oh, sorry. This very nice. Now we'll select eraser tool again, and this time we will select a normal eraser tool. And hardness will be 100%. Size will be any size you can use. And we will erase this side and this too. Now we'll just. Oh, sorry, it's very bigger. I don't want to erase extra things from this image so nice very nice now it's pretty much nice now what we will do is we will give it a text so i will type just a logo as a text just for practice so nice now what we will do is we will press shift and select both of these layers and press ctrl g to keep them in a single group and name this group as a logo now what we will do is we will take a texture and I am using this texture the galaxy one press ctrl T press shift alt and size it down now we will just right click and rasterize this and press ctrl alt and clip mask this layer on this group very nice now we'll take it down more like this very nice now what we will do is we'll press ctrl j to create a copy and press ctrl alt and again we will clip mask this layer pick and drag it right up and press ctrl t to rotate and we'll select the different size we'll select the different size like uh, this one I think pretty much nice we will select the layer style to screen and like this yeah it's pretty much nice here so now we will go to adjustments and we will go to levels and click on this to clip mask this also now we will just decrease the brightness increase the contrast a little bit nice now what we will do is simply create a new layer name this as uh, lens f l a y e r flare lens flare now oh sorry press alt plus backspace to fill it with a black color as our background foreground color is black go to filter render and lens flare simply we will just uh, center this I'm using 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens flare and brightness 100%. Hit OK and go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Increase the blur to about 24 or we can say 23. Now hit OK. Now we'll press Ctrl, Alt, and again we'll do same thing. We will clip mask this layer. Now we'll pick and drag it right on the top corner of this image. Mm, 
where you now go to adjustments and we'll select UV saturation and same thing we'll click on this uh, on this to mask this layer and now we'll increase its saturation which is necessary for the saturation will be between 70 to 80 or 75 to 85 I will just agree on 80 so now I will just change the color nice this one is pretty much awesome so what we'll do is we'll just close this up and we'll select this lens flare color and increase its size a little bit not too much just to be sure it's settings so we'll hit ok nice so now what we will do is we will press shift and select all of these layers except uh, background layer and press ctrl and g now press ctrl p and we will size it down right like this check mark press ctrl 0 okay so here we have finished our tutorial now from now i will try to provide tutorials on daily basis uh, because i was just busy in my final term exams and now now exams are finished so now i will try my best to provide you tutorial on daily basis and i am also thinking about that we should just create tutorials basic tutorials in urdu i think because most of people are uh, messaging me on facebook that uh, i should create tutorials from basic for photoshop in urdu so i think i should just create some tutorials for basic learners in pakistan we, i will record some tutorials in urdu so you can just understand it very well so thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe to our channel and we will see you in next video take care